What in the Minecraft right. Nether portal am I looking at? So this is the Ranger Slayer skin. Uh, basically, it's the Quake skin. Ah. So that was the uh, a portal from Quake. Oh, good. We're and back you... here. Yep, we're back in Erdak. Well, we will be. And uh, you actually got this skin, I believe, by buying uh, Quake on whatever platform you had. <laughs> How do you know what that is? I mean, I'm, I'm sure these guys know all about like the the, right. the universe lore. They have like UAC files and whatnot. You can get through to Erdak. Your portal signature will read like you're one of them. Listen, whatever we do, I'm in. You want to wake the devil? Not so you can help the demons. It's so you can kill their leader once he's taken physical form, and that'll destroy all of them for good, right? I'll take that as a nod. I'll <laughs> I just want to be part of this. I mean, we're about to save the world. Dark Lord has only ever been written about. He's like a Dekillion years old and hasn't. Dekillion. Ah. Hell is uh, about that old. Nobody even knows what he looks like. How many zeros is that? I don't even know, but um, if if Doom Guy really has been ravaging hell in the first age, in the first battle, when the shadows first lengthened, right. he and he's only 150 years old, the only explanation <laughs> that I've even heard that's plausible is that hell has a temporal problem. Mm. Oh, that's right. That would be ten zeros, because deck. Ah, right. Or, well, Trillion try, that's not three zeros, so I guess it would be like the tenth level. Yes. If Trillion is the third. Um, oh, that's right. Not zeros. Ten orders of magnitude, I think, is how that... Yeah. I don't know what an order of magnitude... Anyway, I like this level. It makes me uncomfortable, just like the last one. Of last time we were in Uruk, I mean... This is impressive, disturbing, and makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> but yes, this is the level that... Well, I'll bring it up when I... Oh, oh it's relevant. So... Oh. <laughs> they got me. Yeah, got me pretty good, too. Alright, we got the blood maker. I find it interesting that even the uh, makers are considered demons, which I feel like is telling, and once again reminds me of Bayonetta. Where the angels I mean, it are could, just as fucked up as the demons. It could just be that they didn't feel the need to distinguish them when it, they're they're all enemies. Right. And, I mean, this is uh, after the Icon of Sin was awakened and the uh, all the angels were taken over by demonic forces. Oh, that's what happened? Uh, yeah, remember in that I cutscene, remember. Like I just the, didn't the, know that... the Maker drones were... Oh, because like, there's... Right, the Dark Lord would have, like, fine, now that the con makers out of the way i will be your queen well that even uh it, it was even before that it was just when the dark lord or the icon of sin woke up right. and broke the seal that's true, that's and then true. the the drones uh were running away and then stopped and then turned from right. blue to red and right. okay now they're under de demonic control so these trees with the gold in them the thing mm -hmm. i mentioned earlier last time we were here about the whole like platonic ideal of Earth's trees are based on this perfect tree, since this is, like, supposed to be the best realm there is. Although, mm, we'll get into why I'm still confused about the lore. Even after beating this game, I don't understand the lore. <laughs> there are some things that just don't quite add up. Yeah. Like why that Arachnotron speed boosted sideways after I stabbed it in the eye. <laughs> I do like oh, the yes. pink water. Oh yeah, it is. It's nice. Uh, so last part when I was talking about QuakeCon 2024, I forgot to mention uh, no new news on Doom: The Dark Ages. See, that's what Probably. I thought you were going to bring up. I was surprised about that. I mean, um, yes, when they announced Doom Eternal at E3 2018, they did have a huge keynote about it at QuakeCon just two mm -hmm. months later, but that eternal announcement was just a brief teaser with no gameplay and mm -hmm. the the dark ages trailer was fairly substantial with gameplay so yeah oh, i nearly had it that's vega you left him here on your last mission so uh 
These jellyfish have an interesting life cycle to just rise and die and repeat. I get the impression that they're blinking in and out of uh, dimensional space. Ah, uh, because they seem like they look like they decay almost. But yeah. Yeah, it does look that way. I don't know. After Metroid Prime 2, all bets are off. I feel like that game forever changed how I look at parallel dimensions that are intertwined. Whoa. That was a cool slidey sideways. Oh, you didn't get the double. Ah, well. I, t I tend to go for Bloodmakers uh, uh, as high priority because they are pretty dangerous and they're only vulnerable for limited times. Yeah, they're very annoying. So you'll notice that against the uh, spirit-possessed uh, Hell Knight here, uh, my shield meter was going up very slowly. That's because their increased durability means that your damage counter technically goes up a lot slower. Oh. So their defense is higher. Not that yes. they have more health. That's interesting. It, it might be a little of both. They they definitely take more punishment, but the uh, the fact that that meter goes up slower tells me that it's primarily an increase in defense. Mm -hmm. Nice. I never got I don't a good. Think I use the uh, the um, rocket launcher just to you know shoot a splody projectile enough. Yeah, I was never that good with the detonate function. That's why it's got the uh, flare on it to help you. Yeah, it's more like I couldn't find a good use case for it. Mm. Just um, because I'm like, it's, it's I'd really good to have it for like. On. Yeah, like a uh, pinkies, you can uh, detonate it behind their backs. Oh yeah, that would be handy. Oh hi there. So yeah, uh, Cybermancubi being only really vulnerable to a blood punch is kind of a, a downside for them, if anything, because it just encourages me to put them in a state where one shotgun blast puts them in a stagger. So, these little, uh, oh, what do you call them? There's like these little yellow holograms at the bottom of the tree. Oh yeah, it's almost like uh, it's almost like this uh, world's version of grass. Oh yeah, holographic grass. And there is grass here, another microfauna, but yeah. or flora, but oh, and oh. lost. Uh, but it's okay. So I never know the Recovers. rules on the weapon change slowdown, because I've assumed some of it, like some of the things just aren't affected by the slowdown of that, and I assume that getting your life back isn't, but it's nice to see that it is, I'll have to remember that. Oh, we got a Marauder. Because I can't tell you how many times when that happens I panic and then lose my chance to get it back. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna take care of the tyrant first. <laughs> Hi, doggo. The, having two uh, floors in this arena is nice. It gives you a pretty easy way to get out of trouble. Right. Enemies may be able to follow you, but that doesn't mean they're fast about it always, especially depending on the type. And down. I will say, whoa. I will say that you telling me about the chain gun definitely made, uh, well, me facing those particular guys way easier on the last couple levels. Mm hmm. Uh, 
I, I, sometimes I feel like with the uh, flame belch, I get into the um, mentality of it's better to use it than to lose it, but that just means that I end up using it on like a single enemy mm. when I uh, am frequently in situations where I'm up against um, bigger groups that I could get a lot of shields back if I just used it. Right. Yeah, there's not really a good weapon for, like, you have a line of enemies that's weak. Um... I guess the grenade is pretty destroyer good. Destroyer blade. Well, yeah, but the destroyer blade's too costly to just use like that for me. Yeah, it's it's. It can do a lot of damage to big guys, so. Like, I hate probably to... uh, the most useful one for that is to use the mastery to use the the thin blade against single targets. Oh, I didn't know about that. How does that work? Uh, well, I mean, if the mastery for that means that you can cut it off early and you just at the cost of a thinner blade. Oh. Does it do more damage, or just... I think it's the same damage, just thinner. Is it narrow? When you say thinner, do you mean actually narrower? Yeah, narrower. Okay. It doesn't uh, protrude out as far. That uh, Like, the next time I use it, you'll notice the three sections. Those are the three right. times you can end it. Mm -hmm. Correct. delicious helmet. So this is the Holt, um, this area, and uh, according to the, um, oh, some stutter. Um, according to the lore, this is like a, a forest on the outskirts of um, Erdak. But the thing was is that I thought that the Holt referred to the, um, the fact that this place was falling apart. It was like, you know, the, the Holt is like, oh, the decay or whatever. But no, it's just this this place. Yeah, I don't really know what that word means, to be honest. I'm not sure either. It sounds... Like, I assumed it was like... It sounds almost like a ship term. Like, I thought it was named after the place that houses the Illuminarium. Okay, Google says that a holt is the den of an animal, especially that of an otter. And then huh. also a grip or hold. That's just uh, mispronouncing hold. I see. It's a very bizarre thing. I mean, yes, I could see some some celestial otters scampering about in this water, maybe, but that is kind of weird. I mean, it, I think it's kind of like, you know, uh, nest. Nest, um, it right. technically refers to birds, but it's a more generic term, so this is just a fancier term for a nest. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean there. Uh, even you resisted the temptation. <laughs> Oh, uh, this guy killed me. There's just something just about possessed that I can't deal with. Fortunately, we don't have to take out the spirit first. We can. Oh, really? I didn't know. Yeah, because. Yep. Oh, that's handy. I mean, I'm sure I just didn't remember. There's no way I'd miss that. So it looks like it takes about 50-ish uh, plasma rounds to take to explode a mm. spirit. So weapons with alt fires reminds me of Perfect Dark, a series I really should play through, but apparently is getting a sequel slash whatever after all these years. So, I uh, yeah, there's luck. something going on with that. Oh, hey, look. Oh, that's cool. Bad. Actually, yeah, is that like a rendering problem? What is that? Yeah, I, th I think that that crack isn't supposed to show up mm. so much. But I will um, say, I only care yeah, about... Per Perfect Dark getting is getting something, and I think my impression of it was this doesn't look that great. Oh, I guess I thought, I was like, well, this looks better than I expected for a long dead series. But I mean, uh, to be fair, I only care about Perfect Dark because of Perfect Kirby, which is... Such an incredibly small section of a Venn diagram for most people, it's crazy. Like, man, you and yeah. I used to be obsessed with that stuff. Oh, Perfect Kirby was the best. It was great. It almost felt like if Homestar Runner was less family-friendly, almost in its kind of humor. Yeah. 
I'm sure if I were to go back to a lot of that old Newground stuff, much of it will not hold up. No, a lot of it was a product of teen angst, but I do. <laughs> also, just the novelty of like online animation of, from true. people making fun of video games and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, it was when it was the Wild West. It was different. Like, there's a couple jokes in that though that live in my mind. Rent free is the Donkey Kong trying to barter Monopoly with outsider money. So no Donkey Kong, you cannot use your feces as currency in Monopoly. It's like, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then the other one is Mario. Watch where you're trying to look out. It was a portal. Yeah, we never got number four. Yeah, well. Luckily, that was, the creator that was back in Ego Raptor's uh, heyday when he was an animator and not, well, yeah. whatever you can really call. I don't really know how to rank internet celebrities other than Vinny calling himself an F-list internet celebrity out of self-deprecation, but I feel I th like I think that was a meme for a while. Z-list yeah, online celebrity. I think that's what he called it, but yeah. I would say the Game Grumps are probably, like, C at best. I love this one. Oh, man, that one's good. That might be my favorite arch file. Yeah, uh, that's pretty sick. Glory kill. I will say Danny carries Game Grumps because I feel like without him, it's just, it would just be Aaron doing his thing, which, I don't know. I'm at a point in my life where I don't even really watch YouTube that much anymore, which is probably for the best. Yeah, I've, I've wasted a lot of hours uh, just sort of sitting on YouTube watching videos I've watched way too many times already. Ah. I need to start using my watch later thing because I usually just load stuff into my history to watch later, which only works if the video gets past the ads. Which is a problem. Oh, you still live in that YouTube ad life? Well, that's the thing. I have Firefox, so I don't know how to activate the built-in ad blocker. Uh, you don't need an, a built-in one. Just get one of the many extensions. I use uh, uBlock Origin. uBlock Origin. Okay, I'll do that after this video. Hey, we just uh, did a um, exemplified the reason why YouTube's war against ad blockers will never work. Yeah. It's the same reason somebody made a... I was just... I, I lie. I sometimes watch YouTube. I go through, like, drought, heavy droughts now and then heavy binges. And uh, it was a why Nintendo shutting down fan games actually shoots themselves in the foot. And that is, like, you cut down one, three more take its place, and also the Barbra Streisand effect of... Well, great. In your war against Adblock, you've now alerted people to the existence of Adblock YouTube. Mm -hmm. By the way, Spirit Possessed Marauder. Uh, so it's if you shoot the shield, the dog shows up, right? Yes, but it can also trigger off of uh, uh, enemy fire. Because right. it always shield. felt random, even though I knew better. I think he just jumped up through the floor. Yeah, that was some Smash Brothers crap right there. Come on. I'm surprised... Marauder isn't available in multiplayer, right? No, he's he's one of the playable uh, multiplayer teams. Oh, he is? Okay. Mm -hmm. I would say if he's not, that's crazy, because he's built for it. Mm -hmm. I swear, I keep getting him on the flash. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of that game I need to play more than an hour of. Uh, Cookie Cutter, that Metroidvania that I've been wi I've been watching the development, but it has a fatal flaw, in that the oh. parry window is not clear at all, and they even tried to fix it, and it's still not good. To the point that I might have to mod the game myself just to like this is my only problem with the game is the parry window it makes no sense. Speaking of parries, I am very much looking forward to Doom: um, The Dark Ages having a much bigger emphasis on, like, parry windows and whatnot. Oh, that'll be fun. Parries are really fun. That's why I like Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Nah, there's lots of reasons I like that game. 
I wish I lived in a universe where Punch Out Wii, not Punch Out Wii, but a Punch Out game used the DK bongos. It just feels like you could have done something there. Yeah. Splish. All right, and that's uh, support rune three, I believe. Really? Yep. We're three on, out of uh, three. three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a. Uh, it, it was the main uh, new mm -hmm. mechanic in tag one. Right. This is tag one, isn't it? Yep. Yep. We are on the last level of the ancient gods part one. Right. <laughs> you saying tag reminds me of this game series Tack. You ever played Tack? Um, I think I either I or one of my brothers had. Uh, the first game on the Game Boy Advance version, oh. and I think uh, I once played at a neighbor's house the game on, like, GameCube or something. Mm, I played Staff of Dreams one time at my uncle's house, and we were staying the night, and it was one of those... I've never seen this series, I've never played this series, and this entire sleepover, me not being able to sleep, meaning I was just staying up playing it, made me question was this even real like just one of those moments like it's like ah what is this hmm it's like that it's like that donkey kong game that inspired um mario versus donkey kong and i was shocked it existed like I'm wasn't convinced... that like uh donkey kong on the game boy yeah and like on the fan game thing they're like hey it's, we made a version of it in color and i'm looking at it, i'm like I swear I'm in the Bernstein Bearstein universe where this didn't exist when I was born because why have I never heard of this game till now? It's just like really like weird that I mean it was a stealth puzzle platformer take on yeah. it that you first had to play the classic uh, arcade game in order to access, right? I think so. The most notable thing is the art style and the sprite fidelity seem weirdly like adjacent to what you'd expect from Nintendo. Like it's not bad, it's just weirdly different. Like Wario's Woods. Or actually any Wario game from that era. Wow. I'm gonna was that three look it shots? Up. Maybe it was uh yeah. Um I I think. Because it was Game Boy. Ooh. I'm gonna look up who uh, who developed it. Maybe it was okay. in house. Maybe yeah that might explain why it was jank. <laughs> that pinky didn't stand a chance. Man, I kind of got lost down here. Wow, that was some frame one garbage. Well, um... Oh, okay, I have it. Um, okay. Developer Nintendo EAD and Pax Sofnica. Hmm, that's a name I have no recollection of. Also, that thing to the right, the, the thing with the one eyeball that we saw in hell at the top of the spire. Mm -hmm. I wish we knew what those were. Got to see one when it was alive. Assuming that is a living thing. Yeah, this level. Sorry, what? I, I was I was looking away. Um, I see. What are you talking about? Uh, okay, on the top of the place with all the uh, life spheres, there's like four weird looking alien things, like white. Oh, right, in the things. sanctum. And there was one like around where we're hopping around right now, and I'm just like, what is this? Is this a living? Th was this a living thing? Like, what is this? And I do enjoy when games go so alien that you just don't even know what you're looking at and yeah this jump made me want to pull my non-existent hair out okay looks like pax softnica was a second party studio and they really only worked on mm. donkey kong and wrecking crew 98 okay so the early days of nintendo's second party stuff mm-hmm Yeah, because it looks, it almost looks like the things deactivate, fall down, and then reactivate. And the more I look at these jellyfish. I seem to remember this arena right here being a little uh, difficult. I probably lost a life here at one point. 
Well, it's nice to see that the demons have aesthetics in mind in making their pointless fire blower things have the color scheme for Erdak. Well, these would be Erdak uh, fire blowers. We're in Erdak. I can imagine, like, because Samur and Samuel are the same person, he's just installing these, and it's like, Sir, why are these here? This is a part of my proud Erdak culture. Thank you very much. It is my right to install flamethrowers every three feet. I don't know. It seems kind of demon-y, sir. <laughs> I have seen deviant art. Who is the demon among us? All right, and there's this room. Yeah, this room was cool. Mm -hmm. It's got like a couple of different modes depending on whether these things raise up or go yeah. down. I figured out what this aesthetic reminds me of finally. It's a couple things. The weird Jedi temple, like a lot of prequel, like Coruscant, either Jedi temple or Senate chamber stuff. But also mm -hmm. specifically with this vegetation, like, I don't know. You, you've been to a bunch of like temples in the... Um, U.S. And I feel like some of the temple grounds have some cool stuff like that. Like, maybe not the colors, but just... I'm always appreciative of the landscaping that they really put a lot of detail. Especially, like, um... Oh, what's the one that was really nice? It was, uh... Uh... It wasn't... Was it Sandy? No. But one of them has just, like... I don't know. I just, I'm a sucker for good landscaping, is what I'm trying to say. And I feel like there's a yeah. bug on my leg. Okay. Yeah, I like the things go up, and now the arena's different. And that was an insane ramble. Sorry, y'all. I do that. I'm good at seeing connections where none exist. Boom. Sometimes I uh, do a blood punch when I was really going for a glory kill, and I'm not sure why it ended up being a blood punch. Mm. Yeah, it's like when I accidentally do an assassination in Halo instead of just, you know, a beatdown. Because I hate to say it, there is no reason to ever do a beat down, or an assassination unless it's Halo Reach and you're doing the from above one to get a boost. That's it. As far as I know. Because you can totally... But dude, emotional damage may not be on the scoreboard, but it helps. Yeah, it's it's less about, like, what I'm getting and more like what I'm losing. That is to say, you can still be shot and killed in the middle of an assassination animation, I'm pretty sure. Yep, you can. There's there's achievements for saving someone mm -hmm. during an an, an animation and uh, for killing someone before your animation yeah. finishes. I guess it's the closest thing to a taunt that they've ever had. Well, okay, other than the beloved tea bag, but that's you know. Ah, uh. yeah. Uh. I somehow, I, for some reason, I had some difficulty with this room, like, getting out and finding all the Me stuff too. in here. Me too. It was a weird one. But I enjoyed being here. Oh, that's another thing this room reminds me of, is the Mayan. I miss the Mayan. I think I'm too young to remember it in detail. Mmm, it was great. The food was terrible, but it was great. <laughs> well, at least Casa Bonita still exists. Thank you, Matt and Trey of South Park, for saving that during COVID. Thank goodness. So I'd be mad if I never got to try there. Some people would say, ooh, this room's cool. That a cliff diving restaurant is a stupid gimmick. But I would say, yeah, but it's a cliff diving restaurant. Well, we've made it here. Yep, we will uh, be finishing up The Ancient Gods Part 1 next time. See ya.